Hi folks. If you watched my uh, video series on casting a Greek saw rotor out of bronze, uh, part of that series talked about uh, creating the sand core, which created the cavity in the saw rotor where the spear handle would go. Um, the, the method I used there was maybe, I don't know, depending on how you look at it, a little, a little more historically accurate in that I used sand and molasses and flour to create that sand core such that it held up to the, I guess, the rigors and the heat of the bronze flowing around it. Um, I'm going to use a slightly more modern technique and just do an experiment today. Uh, the other the binder, or whatever the right word is, uh, for the material that holds the sand together that you can use is called sodium silicate. And it's just a, I guess, a clear liquid um, that you uh, mix with the sand to create the core. And then you sort of convert it from a liquid to a solid by exposing it to carbon dioxide, whether that's in the air or in a, a sort of a small chamber that you fill with carbon dioxide. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do here the, this morning. I'm going to experiment a little bit with that and see if it, I can get it to work. So first order of business is to figure out just exactly how much sand I need. So I'm going to zero my scale here. And this is the same um, sort of split pipe held together with hose clamps that I used in the first video. Just going to figure out volume wise how much sand I need. Approximately. A little more is fine. The stuff you can't really make it in advance because it does harden just after, um, by virtue of exposure to the carbon dioxide in the air. So you kind of have to make it as you go, and of course waste not, walk not, so I'm going to try to be as accurate as I can. So I need about, what is that, 227 grams. And the general formula is by weight, um, whatever volume, or whatever weight of sand you have, and this is just silicate sand, silica sand here, 5% uh, by weight of sodium silicate. So um, to that, I'm just going to switch containers here. All right, so I've got my sand there, about 227 grams. Uh, zero my scale out here. And uh, the sodium silicate, I just bought a little tub of it from a pottery supply place not too far away. And I guess they use this in uh, different uh, pottery making processes, but it'll work for our purposes as well here today. Just going to pour a little bit in here till I get about, uh, as I said, 5% by weight compared to the sand. So that'll be, what, about 15, 16 grams, I guess. That's a rough estimate, but some of it will end up stuck in the, uh, stuck to the sides of the little scoop I've got here as well. So a little more is good. There, 16 grams of that. Put the lid on tight so it doesn't react with the CO2 in the atmosphere. And get rid of my scale, I don't need that anymore. There's our sand we measured out a minute ago. And this is, it's a very, it, I don't know if you can see in there, it's just a very clear fluid. It looks like uh, water, really. Don't drink it, of course. Uh, it's a little more viscous than water would be, but I'll just pour it onto the sand and you can see it kind of clumps on top of the sand versus soaking in right away. So there, that looks like that. I'm gonna put a glove on here because again, it's it's not so much uh, toxic as it's, as it just, you, you don't. <laughs> You don't want it on your skin, I don't think. So I'm just gonna mix this up. I'll probably fast forward this so you don't get bored. And okay, I think that's probably pretty good. I think I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, the sodium silicate starts reacting with the CO2 in the air. So as soon as you take it out of the container, you know, essentially your, the, the clock is ticking. So let's get this mixed up. The consistency, if you're wondering, is a bit like green sand, if you know what that means from sand casting. It breaks up not too badly. Um, move that to the side. And we'll get, begin packing our form here. Ram go, there we are. And you just begin packing your core box.
we'll just double check the other side, the uh, other end. Make sure that so that'll take a little more. And there we are. And now we're ready to treat this with the carbon dioxide. So for carbon dioxide, I didn't, didn't want to buy a whole big uh, tank of gas, you know, from a gas supply place. So I uh, sort of snuck into the kitchen and I uh, liberated this canister from our uh, uh, soda maker. Um, and I bought a little valve off of, uh, or online, uh, very simple. It just, it's an unusual thread count here. So I had to go online for this, uh, but it works quite well. It's got a little pressure gauge, which I don't actually need, but that's nice to have. And, and I could get a hose adapter here for this if I wanted to, but the way I'm gonna do it today is fairly straightforward plastic bag. I'm gonna put our sand corn. I'm gonna leave the, 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 the pipe on the outside for now. I've seen videos online where they do so, and it, it turns out just fine. So I guess the uh, CO2 sort of filters in or, or creeps in from both ends and helps to uh, react or, or reacts with the uh, uh, sodium silicate in the mold. So we should be fine. So I'll seal this up almost all the way. Just poke the end in there. All right, let's oh, push all the air out first, or most of the air out first. Here we go. Very carefully. And that's that. We sit for five or 10 minutes and uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. And we're back. Uh, it's only been about five minutes uh, since I did the jump there. Uh, let's have a look and see. I'm told, I've heard, I've read, uh, it only takes about five minutes for this kind of thing to, uh, this sort of reaction to occur. So let's see how we did. We'll take this out of the bag. We'll undo our hose clamps here. The ends, the ends feel kind of crispy, crusty. That's a good sign. One off there. Another one off there. Now, let's see. That looks all right to me. Nice and solid. There's no cracks down the middle uh, or transversely. Uh, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put it back in the bag for another five minutes with a little more CO2. Um, again, I don't know the full science of this, how the, the CO2 travels up and through the material, but you know, given that there's more of it exposed to the, or will, that will be exposed to the CO2 now in the bag directly, uh, I'm assuming that'll help the reaction along. So I'm going to rebag this and refill it with CO2. And I'll see you in five minutes. Another five minutes. All right, so again, through the magic of video editing, that's five minutes gone by. Let's have a look and see how we did here. Take this guy out, just put that to the side now. Um, I don't know, I don't know how delicate to be in trying to get this out. Let's give it another tap on top just to try and loosen things. Just like that.
All right, I'm good with that. Now, the next step, or so I've read, uh, is to pop it in the oven for a little bit at about 300 Fahrenheit to drive out any residual moisture that is in the core. Because again, if you're gonna pour liquid bronze around this, uh, any moisture that's there will immediately evaporate, expand, and cause a, you know, potentially blow out your mold. Um, just for those of you who may be wondering, this is just uh, some of the excess that I uh, treated with carbon dioxide earlier. And this is about the size of, well, you can see on the video, about the size of a sugar cube. Kind of looks like a sugar cube, but... Uh, oh, there, I just managed to crack it. Took a lot of pressure, though, to break it in half. Uh, it is very durable, not perhaps rock hard, but certainly oh, very hard. Interesting stuff. Anyways, over to the oven. And as I said, to help drive out any excess moisture that's still in the core, we'll put it in, make sure it doesn't roll out. There we go. Pop in the oven for, I don't know, let's say half an hour at 300 Fahrenheit. Let's have a quick peek. It's only been about 10 minutes and it's just the same as it looked before. Uh, no surprise there, really, it's just drying out. So there's not much point in following it further. As I said, I'll leave that in there for in total about half an hour to an hour. I'm not sure yet, really. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for future videos where I'll actually use this sand core in casting something. Not sure what yet. Um, but take care. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye-bye.